We all do it, some of us do it more than others, and most of us cherish it. During those heavenly hours when we go into sleep mode, some weird and wonderful things happen to us. Sleep is the final frontier, a place where dreams burst into life, but also a place where strange and sometimes dangerous things happen. As you'll find out today, there's a lot more to sleeping than you think, and it's really only the last few decades that we've begun to understand the importance of having a good slumber. Without further ado, welcome to the sleep zone. Number 50. If you go without sleep, it's called sleep deprivation, and you could start to feel cranky and anxious if you go just 24 hours without a dose. Go 48 hours and you become very fatigued. At this point, you might have something called micro-sleeps, which means dropping off without even knowing it just for a second or two. Go 72 hours and it's likely you have difficulty concentrating and might start to get paranoid. Number 49. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in three Americans don't get enough sleep. Scientists believe most humans need at least 7 hours of sleep, but many people don't get nearly that much. Number 48. In 1987, a man named Kenneth Parks got in his car and drove around 12 miles to his mother-in-law's house. He then entered the house and bludgeoned his mother-in-law to death with a tire iron. After that, he tried to strangle his father-in-law, but he didn't succeed in killing him. Covered in blood, Parks drove to the police station and told the cops he may have just killed two people. He didn't go to prison for his crime, since it was believed he had committed the act while sleepwalking. Number 47. In 2005, a 15-year-old girl in England went for a walk while she was sleepwalking. She actually managed to climb a 130-foot crane. There she remained until a firefighter climbed up the crane and rescued her. The girl was still sleeping when he got to her. Of course, she was very confused, having gone to sleep in her bed and woken up at the top of a crane. Just imagine if that happened to you. Number 46. Lots of studies have been done so we can better understand dreams. One strange thing about dreams is the fact that something like 12% of people report that they only dream in black and white. Why? We don't exactly know. We know a lot more Americans in the past dreamed in black and white. The main reason for that is the TV was black and white. Number 45. According to the National Sleep Foundation, only one in four married couples in the USA actually share the same bed. The separation isn't always because the couple has fallen out of love or they argue too much, it's more likely to be because they disturb each other's sleep patterns. Number 44. Some people can't just seem to get out of bed in the morning. Some struggle, but others really feel like they just can't make the move. There's a term for this and it's called dysania. There are a number of reasons that this can happen, and it could simply be that the person is not getting enough quality sleep. It might also be related to anxiety or depression. It's not a medical condition per se, but some people can have chronic dysonia and some sufferers have been known to stay in bed for days on end. Number 43. Some people are born blind, so you might wonder what they dream about since they have not visualized the world. Well, blind people's dreams tend to be more about the other senses, such as taste and smell and sounds, but there is evidence that some blind people can have visual dreams too. Studies have also found that people who were born blind tend to have more nightmares than people who can see. These might be related to the sense of falling or getting lost. Number 42. Some people claim to never dream at all, but that's because they rarely if ever wake up during their REM portion of sleep. This is when the brain is most actively dreaming, and self-professed non-dreamers who were woken up during REM sleep admitted they had been dreaming. Number 41. Do dogs dream? It seems they do, since scientists have looked at dogs' brains' electrical activity while they were sleeping. Some of those scientists said the average sized dog will start to dream after about 20 minutes of sleep. At this point, you should be able to see rapid eye movement of the dog. So you might now ask, do dogs sleepwalk too? The answer it seems is no, although they might flop about a bit while they're sleeping, it's unlikely that one day you'll find your dog at the top of a crane fast asleep. Number 40. We don't know where the myth originated, but some people hold the belief that if they were to die in their dream, they would die in real life. Simply put, this is hogwash. Many people have reported dying in a dream and they live to tell the tale. Number 39. Humans are the only animal that deliberately delays their sleep. Number 38. According to the National Sleep Foundation, the body does not adjust to shift work. On its own website, the organization says that people who work shifts and change their sleep pattern a lot are more likely to later develop diseases, such as cardiovascular and gastrointestinal diseases. Number 37. Around 90 million Americans snore, and 37 million of those folks do it on a regular basis. Number 36. Some people claim they don't sleep much at all, and some of them are pretty well known. Donald Trump wrote in his book, Think Like a Billionaire, don't sleep any more than you have to. I usually sleep about four hours per night. Well, at least he paid someone to write that in a book for him. Other reports state he sleeps about six hours a night, which would be the same as Elon Musk. In fact, we found lots of reports stating that many CEOs and famous people only sleep between four and six hours a night. 
Now let's get strange again, the best is yet to come. There's a guy in the UK by the name of Lee Hadwin. He's been painting in his sleep since he was four and as an adult he carried on doing it. He's been dubbed the sleepwalking artist and has made a lot of cash from selling his artwork. He goes to bed and when he wakes up there's sometimes a drawing or a painting in front of him. He said when he was 15 years old he woke up and found that he'd drawn a really good picture of Marilyn Monroe. The thing was, in his waking life he had no talent whatsoever for drawing. Some of his paintings have been sold for six figures and even Donald Trump has bought one of them. He's made a lot of cash and kind of put no effort into it. Hadwin's skills have baffled scientists and no one really knows how he manages to create works while he sleeps. Some people have said he's a fraud, although experts at the Edinburgh Sleep Clinic have witnessed him sleepwalking and they said he's the real deal. Number 34. Most people tend to fall asleep after around 7 to 15 minutes of trying. Although anyone who has suffered from insomnia or stress will tell you that it might take them hours to find slumberland. Number 33. On the other hand, if you're the kind of person who falls asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow, it's likely you are sleep deprived. Number 32. You can find recent articles in the media that tell you that around 9 million people in the US take a sleep medication. Although the data cited is CDC research, it's now a decade old. Still, we found more stories about Americans' problems of falling asleep. It does indeed seem that millions of adults are taking a medication for sleep or medications to reduce stress and anxiety. The downside to this are some side effects and also dependency on the drug. With some medications, there's something called the rebound effect, so if the person tries to quit, they might experience even worse anxiety, stress, or insomnia. Number 31. The younger you are, the more you sleep. Babies usually sleep 14 to 17 hours a day and they usually don't have a problem dozing off. 14 to 17 year olds usually sleep anywhere from 7 to 11 hours a day. According to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, it's important that younger folks get this extra sleep compared to adults who can get by on 7 hours. Parents shouldn't nag if their teenager likes to spend, say, 10 hours of sleep. Still, according to the CDC, two-thirds of high school students aren't getting enough sleep, especially on school nights. Number 30. 20% of American adults hit the booze before bedtime, and if you've ever done that, you'll know it can help you fall asleep. But is it good for you? In the sense of sleep, not what it does to your organs. The experts tell us that a drunk sleep might not be the best sleep, because the alcohol can prevent you from having those good REM sleeps. You might also wake up in the middle of the night and not be able to get back to sleep again. A bucket of beer might also lead to many trips to the bathroom throughout the night, and as some of you know, drunk sleepers tend to snore. That's because the booze has relaxed their throat muscles and also because drunk sleepers tend to sleep on their backs. Number 29. New research has shown that more people are now texting in their sleep, especially people who have grown up with a mobile phone. That's a very modern parasomnia, which means sleep disorder. Still, it's a good excuse if you texted something you regret in the morning. If your partner finds out you texted an old flame, now you know to say, my love, it was merely a sleep text, totally out of my control. Now for something really wacky. Number 28. We imagine that just a few of you guys watching this video have woken up in the middle of the night with a raging hunger. You've gone down to the kitchen, raided the fridge, and left a trail of destruction behind you. But how many of you have done this while still sleeping? You might have experienced something called nocturnal eating syndrome, but as a sleep-related eating disorder. Its full name is nocturnal sleep-related eating disorder. People who have suffered from this have sometimes raided the kitchen several times in just one night, but they didn't remember a thing the next day. It sounds funny, but NES can be dangerous as eating while asleep could lead to choking or having an accident. In extreme cases, people might have been known to put on lots of weight while some people have fired up the stove and made a complex meal. Others have eaten things such as salt sandwiches, raw meat, frozen food, and would you believe it, buttered cigarettes. Yikes! Number 27. Arguably better than that is something called exploding head syndrome. These people might be on the cusp of sleep when suddenly they hear a loud explosion or hear the sound of bullets or great claps of thunder. It freaks them out to say the least, especially if the noise is accompanied by flashes of light. The good news is it's not dangerous. No one really knows why it happens. It might be related to problems with the ear, nerve dysfunction, a minor seizure, or just your regular stress. Number 26. Driving while feeling drowsy can lead to accidents. With the CDC saying in the US alone, in recent years thousands of fatal crashes happened because someone nodded off behind the wheel or was very close to it. The statistics differ depending on what source you're reading, but everyone agrees that driving while very fatigued is a bad idea. In one poll, 37% of people admitted they had fallen asleep while driving at least once in their life. Number 25. Is napping good for you? NASA wanted to know this because they wanted to see if napping improved the performance of their pilots. The agency concluded that the ideal nap should be 26 minutes. 
it can improve alertness and reduce stress. With this in mind, if you ever find yourself in a position where you have to drive a long distance or you have to do something that's very important, if you feel tired, you should find a suitable place to take a nap. This might improve your performance and keep you concentrated. Number 24. According to some studies, it's a myth that you can catch up on sleep. Some people might think, hmm, if I sleep only a few hours on Monday and Tuesday, I'll catch up those missing hours later in the week. Harvard Medical School said this is not the case. Its study revealed that people who often have nights of little sleep will always suffer in the end. Number 23. Exercise helps you fall asleep easier and also helps you sleep better throughout the night. Why, though, you might ask? Well, scientists tell us that exercise releases endorphins in our brains, and this can reduce stress and depression. In fact, studies have shown that when people suffering from insomnia did four months of exercise, they slept better and were less anxious in general. The thing was, though, the good sleep didn't come immediately. Participants had to put some effort in. Number 22. Almost half of Americans sleep rolled up in the fetal position, so it seems we have a fondness for how we kicked it back in our mother's womb. Back sleeping is the second most common, and after that, stomach sleeping. Then there are people that combine different sleeping positions. Some research tells us that sleeping on your back is the best position to promote good health, although it might depend on if you have certain health issues. Number 21. We generally dream four to six times throughout the night, and as you'll soon find out, this can be a problem. Number 20. Some of you will know that one of the scariest things that can happen to you during sleep is dreaming that you're awake. Such a false awakening might mean you get up, go downstairs, have a drink of orange juice, then suddenly realize something isn't right. Then you might wake up for real, often with your heart pounding. Even worse is the fact that some people have woken up with a shock and then seen someone standing over them. This is a dream within a dream again, and the person might wake up for real. These are called multiple false awakenings, which has been described as a Russian doll of dreaming. That's scary. Number 19. Some people can dream, and while they don't wake up, they're aware they're dreaming. These are called lucid dreams. You might even be able to give yourself superpowers in these dreams, such as the guy who says when he's being chased in a nightmare, sometimes he just has to decide to run backwards and he shoots off like a rocket. So why do we lucid dream? It's likely because a part of the brain, called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, is partly switched on during sleep when it usually isn't. This is the part of the brain that deals with planning, reasoning, working memory, and thinking about multiple concepts. In a lucid dream, the person then becomes conscious enough to know they're dreaming, but not conscious enough that they wake up. That's one theory anyway. Number 18. So which country's citizens get the best sleep? We found some data and it seems that folks from New Zealand on average sleep the most hours. The Netherlands, Finland, Britain, and Australia weren't far behind and the US was somewhere in the middle. The worst sleeping nation was Japan, followed by South Korea and then Saudi Arabia. Number 17. According to the National Sleep Foundation, only 8% of Americans sleep totally naked, while a whopping one-third of British folks sleep in the buff. Number 16. There's no proof that eating cheese can give you nightmares, but if you do go to bed on a full stomach, it might affect your sleeping pattern. It can make you restless as your body digests the food, and therefore you might wake up more during REM sleep. Number 15. Around 1.4% of people sleep with their eyes open, a condition known as nocturnal lagophthalmus. It simply means they cannot close their eyelids during sleep, with some folks sleeping with their eyes fully open and others just partially open. They have no idea they're doing it since they're asleep, but it looks pretty freaky to other people. There are other reasons why someone might sleep with their eyes open, relating mostly to disease, trauma, and autoimmune conditions. Number 14. In 2010, a man named Gregory Macon said he was kicked off a US Airways flight because he was caught sleeping with his eyes open. He'd fallen asleep before the plane had even taken off, but when one of the cabin crew saw him sleeping with his eyes open, she thought he was ill and asked if anyone on board could help. There was actually a nurse on the plane, but she had no idea why someone would sleep with their eyes open. She had not heard of nocturnal legothalamus, and while Macon explained that he'd often slept this way, in the end, the crew decided he wasn't fit to fly. He wasn't very happy about this at all. Okay, coming up to the top 13, now we have some really strange things to tell you. Number 13. You cannot sneeze while you're sleeping. Number 12. Studies have shown that people have a worse night's sleep when there's a full moon. Why that happens is confusing, but the obvious answer might be because of the light of the moon. That doesn't seem to be the case, though, because when scientists in Switzerland watched people as they slept during a full moon, the subjects were literally kept in the dark. They were figuratively kept in the dark, too, since they had no idea what the experiment was about. The scientists found that when the moon was full, on average the people spent 30% less time in deep sleep and slept less time overall. It also took them longer to fall asleep. Some scientists believe that humans are naturally attuned to the moon's cycle, and that's why its fullness affects our sleep. More studies have been undertaken with mixed results. One study showed kids slept longer during a full moon, but another revealed again that adults slept less. Number 11. 
Back when the British were leading the Industrial Revolution, a new job came onto the scene so that people could get to the factories on time. This job was called a knocker-upper. For a few pennies a week, some guy would come around to workers' houses and knock on their doors or windows or use a pea shooter to hit the higher level windows. In the 19th century, the author Charles Dickens wrote about the occupation, but knocker-uppers were still around in the 1970s. The first personal alarm clock was invented in 1787, but we guess not everyone in Britain's industrial cities had one. Number 10. Things can turn ugly if you wake someone up who's experiencing something called sleep terrors or night terrors. These are very intense nightmares. Fortunately, only around 1% of adults suffer from regular night terrors, and while someone might thrash around a bit or scream out, the person next to them will usually not be harmed. That's not always the case though, and we found instances where people had attacked their partner during a night terror. During the frenzy, the dreamer might also hurt themselves. This is how one woman described how her husband would sometimes act during sleep. He seemed to have the strength of 10 men and shoot straight up from the bed onto his feet in one motion. He's landed clear across the room on many occasions and has pulled down curtains, upset lamps, and so forth. He's grabbed me and pulled on me, hurting my arms. There are many reasons why someone might have night terrors, from substance abuse to childhood trauma to PTSD to a family history of parasomnia. Number 9. According to the National Sleep Foundation, you should wash that pillow of yours at least once every six months and you should replace it after a year or two. The reason is dust mites. These little fellas can impair breathing and worsen allergies. Number 8. Babies are another thing that really get in the way of a good night's sleep. It's reported that a new person in the house will result in 400 to 750 hours of lost sleep for parents. Number 7. Major global events can make many people have a bad night's sleep. A big event might have the effect for many months, as many people have experienced during the coronavirus pandemic. Other major sleep disturbers have been 9-11, the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster, and the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. While it's good to know about current events, we can certainly consume too much news. Sometimes you have to tune out and just be in the moment. Number 6. When your stress levels are high, the hormone corticosteroid can negatively impact the effects of the immune system. A vicious cycle that can happen is a person is stressed and sleeps less and the next day the lack of sleep means that they deal with stress worse. They might then sit in front of the TV watching news media that sounds apocalyptic and this creates more stress which creates sleeplessness in a repeating cyclical pattern. Number 5. Some people dread going to bed and falling asleep, a condition called somnophobia. One sufferer in the UK explained it like this, I'd stay up listening to my mom snoring just to make sure she was alive. I was petrified that if I slept, something bad might happen and I wouldn't be awake to help. Some of these people might fear the loss of control they have during sleep or they might worry about what could happen while they're unconscious. Some sufferers have said the fear comes from having had night terrors or bouts of sleepwalking, while for others a traumatic event in the past has caused the dread of the bed. Ok, we're getting to the end now, but there's still so much more to tell you about sleep. Number 4. 5 to 7 million kids in the US wet the bed, although by the time kids reach the age of 10, only about 2 to 3 percent of them wet the bed. One study we found said that 1 in 50 teenagers in the US wets the bed. Ok, so why does some folks wet the bed in the first place? It could be a number of things, such as the child having a smaller than average bladder or the fact that both his parents were bedwetters. It might also be the fact that they have lower than average levels of hormone vasopressin or simply the fact that their sleep is just too deep. Stress and infections can also be a reason. Number 3. According to the experts, counting sheep as a strategy to fall asleep is useless. Number 2. Some studies have shown that if you regularly sleep well, you might deal with pain better. In those studies, the scientists allowed participants to sleep a certain number of hours. When they were later tested to see how they dealt with pain, the people who had slept more seemed to feel less. So much so, it was as if they had taken codeine. Number 1. Lastly, we'll tell you about the horror of something called fatal insomnia. This is a rare disease, thank God, which affects the brain. It happens because of a tiny genetic mutation in the brain, but that mutation in time will mean that the sufferer will find it very hard to sleep. The insomnia will get worse and worse and this will lead to hallucinations, delirium and finally death. It might take many years for the person to show the symptoms, but once they do, there is no going back. Over a period of months, the person will suffer from panic attacks which will lead to paranoia and then the hallucinations will occur. Next will come weight loss and finally when the patient hasn't slept for a long time, they'll become unresponsive. It could happen when the person is as young as 18 or it might not happen until they're in their 60s. There's no cure for this nasty disease and even the strongest sleeping pills or other sedatives don't seem to help. It's just one long agonizing nightmare, so we can be glad that only around 40 families have been known to carry this gene. Now you really need to watch 50 surprising facts about space you didn't know or 50 insane facts about Titanic you didn't know.